All right, guys, welcome to Way of Fishing. This is a really short video. Um, you can see here, this reel is terribly backlashed. Um, story behind that is in order to cast the crankbaits I was using, I had to basically back the cast control completely off because I just couldn't get the baits to go. And while they were backed completely off, I went to cast and I hit, um, I hit Caleb's, Caleb's rod when I went on the back cast and just totally blew the reel out. So, so bad I couldn't recover it. So what I'm going to do right now is I've got a really big knife. I actually got one of my fillet knives right here. And I'm going to cut all the line off of this reel because it is done. I am ordering new line from Discount Tackle. And we're going to put it on the reel. 12 pound test. This is for cranking. Um, but once we get the line off, I'm going to use this opportunity to upgrade the bearings. So what I have here are ceramic bearings. These are generic ceramic bearings. Uh, you could get much better ones than these. And I would actually recommend that because this is the second time I've had to buy bearings. The first time I purchased them, they were trash. And so I had to purchase them again. And um, one time someone sent me the wrong ones. It just was horrible. So I definitely would have saved more money if I'd have gone and gotten Boca bearings or um, spool tech or spool speed bearings or whatever it is. You know, I would have saved money in the long run, but um, I'm going to stop the camera for a second. I'm going to cut all this line off and then we're going to do the bearing replacement before we spool it back up. Okay, so we got all the line off. That took forever. That was a mess. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys here, I've got the bail down and I've got the brake. You can see how many threads are exposed. That brake is backed all the way off. So with the clutch open, I'm going to spin the spool and you'll see uh, the rotations on it. Oh, hold up, that's not going to work one-handed. Let's try this. See so how quickly that stops? This is the reason why you put ceramics in a reel with their no with no friction on the the bearings you can hear it it's this complete slop and it's still stopping quickly so um the way that the shimano and the guys only deal with shimano but the way that the shimano bait casters are set up the spool has a shaft that goes into this cap it goes through the spool and over here into the uh where the the uh, cast controls are so most of your Shimano's, um, Curados, Sitikas, um, until you get into the ultra high end reels, most of them, what I've researched, take the same size bearing. Um, so you can find it really easy on an internet search. I will link the bearings that I bought below. Um, orange seal ceramic with uh, stainless steel races and ceramic balls. So we're going to go ahead and put them in and we're going to do the spin test after we do it. Um, I'm hoping for a huge increase. Now, I don't know about other brands because again, all I mess with is Shimano. This is an older green Curado. Um, what I did was I took the handle assembly off, which on the Shimano is, I'm trying to cut my light out here. Um, the handle, a spring, the drag star, the lock nut to hold the handle on and then the beauty cap to cover up the lock and also keeps the nut from keeps the nut from backing off that the cap does so um once that's a loose you can take the brake cap off be careful because some models have um, small parts on the inside of the brake caps so that's where i oiled it there's a spring here we're going to pop the spring out maybe might need two hands to pop the spring up, oh, got the spring. Then you can see there is a bearing, there's a spool shaft. It's literally right there. Um, not really, I would never pay someone to put these bearings in. I encourage you guys to not do so either. The bearing is literally right there. And Shimano, it's so easy. If you want to get the spool out, I'm gonna try to do this one handed. The cast control, I'm just gonna pop that open. Yep, the VBS, and we're going to give her a twist, and then let the, I'm doing this one-handed again, oh, let the door pop open, 
swing her back. There are your cast controls. And if I push on this, I can actually get that spool to come out of the reel. I mean, I better do it one handed though. Yep, one handed drops right out. So there's my spool. My cast controls are intact. There's the spool. There's the shaft. We're going to set that over there. Now, on this side, I just showed you where that bearing is. If you look in the door to where the VBS is, there's your other bearing. There's a little small retaining clip right there. You want to take a small screwdriver, pop that retaining clip out, put the new bearing in there. And then on this side, we're actually just going to, um, like, we're going to try to hit the back of it right there and push that bearing out the other side of the reel. And we'll be done. Um, one main real important thing to do when we're switching over to, uh, I don't even know where I put them. The ceramic bearings is you do not oil these. Do not oil or grease ceramic bearings. That will gum them up and defeat the purpose. So I'm going to put the camera down because I can't do this part um, with one hand. But um, super easy. Um, you want to use two hands. As you pry that out, you don't want the spring tension to make that retaining clip shoot across the room because then you're in a world of trouble. Um, and then we're just going to pop that one out and we're going to put the new ones in and reassemble. All right, it was, uh, it was work, but I eventually got all of the bearings out. The bearing in the door, that one was really hard to get out. Um, there's no way to, you just kind of, what I ended up doing was taking this Allen wrench and putting it in there and just kind of prying at an angle and then trying to pull the, and eventually it came out, but getting that one out was a bear. Um, the other one is already in. I've put the cap back on. So where we at now, I'm going to drop the spool in and do the reassembly and we're going to do the rotation test. Well, you know, matter of fact, I don't have to do full reassembly on this to do the rotation test. All we really need is that piece in there and then close the door, lock the door. Um, one other thing I need to mention is when I did this, I took um, alcohol and Q-tips and I removed anything that looked like lubricant, grease, oil, uh, whatever I could find. Um, I just got it out in the cap that sits on here. I actually soaked it in alcohol and then I cleaned it out with a rag to make sure there's no residual, as little residual oil as possible. All right, let's see. We still got slop, which is what we want. Um, I'm not going to put the handle on, but that shouldn't be an issue. I didn't take the, oh, I do have to, come on. All right. The reel is engaged. Look at that. And that's just off of hitting the clutch bar. All right. So let's give her a spin. That's way improved. Compared to what it was. Now, also realize I didn't take the cast controls off. So let's go ahead and turn off all of our cast controls and see what we get. So that was rotation with one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Three, four, essentially four of the brakes were on. And what again, what I was trying to do was back the spool completely loose so that I could cast it. And then I was trying to compensate by putting the cast control wide open. Like it just wasn't a good situation. So let's put it back together. And sorry, I'm filming this on a cell phone. All right, we're still free. Let's see what we got. How are we going to do this? Gosh, I guess going faster. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, let's time this. <laughs> let's time this. Um, it's four, three, two, one, go. Ten seconds, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Let's say twenty-one. Twenty-one seconds of, of revolution on that spool. That is insane, guys. Mm. Now, word to the wise. If you are not a very skilled caster with a bait cast and you do a ceramic bearing upgrade. You're going to have trouble. Um, it does demand that you know what you're doing. Um, again, that's 21 seconds of rotation on an old Shimano. Old reel. And she is crushing it now. Look at that. Still going. That's crazy. I could watch this like all night. Just play with it like it was um, what was it? a fidget spinner. Yeah, that's this is a fidget spinner for me. I know I need to stop. I don't have line to put on it right now. I have to order some from discount. But man, look at that. And those are ceramic bearings off of eBay from China for real, guys. So. Mm. Anyway, bonus video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to spin that on camera anymore. I might spin it on YouTube, but um, see y'all on the next video.